Is mathematics a superpower? It certainly feels like one sometimes. I know that when I was a student, I would look at my teachers and I would think, wow, how, how can they do that? Like, how can they just go up on the board and just spew out all this mathematics? They're just like amazing. You know, how can they do these really hard proofs? I was always really impressed with, you know, when my teachers could prove things and, and I couldn't. How do they know so much? It just seemed like it was supernatural, like, like a superpower. It seemed like outer-worldly, you know, like not even real because it was so much material, it was so much mathematics that you would wonder, how could a human being possibly know so much? I mean, think about it, right? Think about how much knowledge your professor has. You know, you go home and you're studying and you're going over your notes for one day from that one class that he's teaching and it's just one little snippet of information that he chose, to, he or she chose to share, right? Think about that, right? This professor has probably taught tons of classes, taken probably 20x the amount of classes they've taught, right? Think about that. And this is just one day that they're presenting the material on one topic. Well, they probably know a lot more on that topic, but they only had so much time in class. So there's even more to learn, right? So there's just so much math. It's incredible. So that's why it feels, in some sense, like not even human. It's like supernatural. How do they know so much? The reality is it's not, right? The reality is it just takes two things. Mathematics always just takes two things, practice and time, right? Practice and time. With those two things, okay, with those two things, you can learn anything, anything. I, I will never forget, and I've, I've probably told the story before, so I will keep it really short, but I was in a classroom once. It was a, an algebra classroom, advanced mathematics, abstract algebra. This was in graduate school. And our teacher, he, he passed away a few years ago, and uh, he was writing on the board, and he had these double summations, like these double series. And so you see series. In Calculus 2, you do infinite series. Uh, in Pre-Calc, you do finite series. In Calc 1, you do series when you do Riemann sums, you know, when you're doing the definite integral as a limit. But these were double series, right? You had two summations. And everyone was lost. I was like, I don't know what's going on. You know, I would just write everything down. I mean, he would just go up there and scribble, right? Supernatural. I mean, just out of this world. No notes, nothing. And someone raised their hand. And they said, hey, professor, how can we get better at you know, understanding and working uh, you know, with, with double series and double sums. And he looked at the student and he said, experience. That's all he said. That's all he said. And I was like, whoa, what an answer, right? It's like, oh, I just got like goosebumps. I was like, wow, it's creepy, right? This guy was supernatural. And I went home and I thought about that. And think about that. What is experience? Well, it takes two things, right? Practice and time, that, that's what experience is, right? Your experience with mathematics. And I wanna go a little bit further and say that, you know, mathematics, it's not just about practice and time, but th there's two types. It's about breadth and depth. Fun words to say, because they both end in the th. But breadth and depth. So by breadth, I mean, it's really good to be exposed to lots of areas of mathematics. That's one thing I think you do get from this channel, right? You can see and learn about all the different types of math. I've got book reviews for all kinds of books. You see like, oh, this exists, and it gives you a starting point so you can get some books and start learning, you know, so you can be exposed to the mathematics. Death, depth, that comes in like, you know, in the proofs and the gritty proofs. Like if you're looking at some of my videos on the proofs, uh, my advanced calculus videos where I do, where I prove things or abstract algebra, you know, details, right? That's the depth, you know, or you're deep in a proof-based linear algebra course. You know, and you've got all these theorems and propositions you've had to memorize. So that's the depth. So mathematics requires both, which makes it exceptionally hard, right? Exceptionally hard. And it builds, right? It's all very linear. A lot of times in math, you know, there's a lot of prereqs until you can get to something. The good news is, here, here's, here's the light at the end of the tunnel. The more math you learn, the better you'll become at learning new math. And so the less supernatural 
and outer-worldly it will feel, okay? And you'll, you'll notice that when you start learning math, that math will appear in other books. For example, and you've probably already seen this if you're a math student, when you take math classes like you know, upper level classes like advanced calculus, complex variables, topology, most of those courses, they always start with set theory, right? They always start with set theory. And so when you take all those courses, you see set theory like 10 times. And so I feel like, you know, after you get your math degree, you're a set theory master. Well, not just that, but a lot of the things you see in those classes, you see in other classes. Like linear algebra, for example, shows up in abstract algebra. Um, it shows up in differential equations. Uh, it shows up in advanced calculus. You know, so it shows up in different places. Um, another example would be differential equations themselves. They show up in different places, right? So top topological concepts, that shows up everywhere. So it all kind of intertwines, you know, and you see examples from multiple fields. And it's almost as if at some point, it's just math, right? And there's, there, there are different areas, but it's just math. And it's all connected, right? It's all connected. But there are different areas, and it's all very hard. So yeah, those are my thoughts on uh, why math uh, can seem uh, impossible sometimes and why uh, it feels like a superpower, right? It's almost like supernatural, right? It's, it's a supernatural thing in some sense, but it's not. Your teachers aren't supernatural beings. They're not going to spew fireballs from their hands. They're not really sorcerers. <laughs> it's not really going to happen. But if you're feeling that way, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, one more thing, too. Another reason, another reason it seems supernatural, too, is because who are you looking at a lot of times when you make these judgments? Your teachers. Right? These, are, these are teachers, right? They, they teach. These people are going over math every single day, right? They're talking about it. They're, that's their job. So they become very good at it, especially they become very good at what they're teaching. You become really good at whatever you teach. Like, I've taught like a gazillion calculus classes, and it's like, I don't even need notes anymore. Like, so you become very, very good at that subject, right, when you teach it over and over again. And what happens is these teachers, these supernatural beings, they, they teach a class over and over again, and then they take their notes and they turn it into a book. That's where most books comes, come, come from, right? That's why math books are so good, because they come from people who have been basically explaining this material to people for years, and then at some point they just said, hey, you know what? I'm going to put it in a book and sell it so I can make some money. And those books contain really valuable information. It's, it's basically not just the mathematics, but the years of experience that the author has uh, in presenting that material to a classroom. So yeah, that's why books are so, so unique. Anyways, what do you think about math? Does it feel supernatural to you? Does it feel like you know, you'll never be able to reach the level that you want to reach, right? Does it feel like you'll never be able to become as good as your teachers? Leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you want to learn math, check out my courses. Links are in the description of this video. As always, keep doing mathematics.